What is up everybody and welcome to Weekly Wednesday for new comic books coming out on April the 23rd, 4th, 2019. We got new t-shirts. Why are you guys so quiet? What's up everybody and welcome to Weekly Wednesdays. Uh, nice and bright outside. Okay, so there's um, there's a bunch of news that uh, I have to go through. So um, unfortunately, no uh, no time for babbling and whatnot because um, we have some exciting news for you guys. So if you want, uh, you can go ahead and just minimize your screen, just as always. Um, if not, um, you can just definitely hang on in there and just watch. Uh, a very important announcement concerning our signing this weekend as well as Steve Yoki as well. We're going to start off with the signing this weekend. The signing this weekend, we have uh, Thanos uh, signing with uh, Jeff DeCal this weekend too as well. Uh, so what's going to happen is that uh, Jeff's going to be here at 3 o'clock. It's, it's going to be from 3 o'clock to 6 p.m. He will be doing commissions and he will be signing other than Thanos number one. Uh, this weekend, so you can definitely bring in your uh, Jeff DeCal stuff, anything that he's worked on from Iron Fist, uh, Action Comics, Nightwing, um, Punisher, all those stuff in there, Killmonger. So uh, bring those in, you can definitely get them signed, and we will have CGC on hand in here uh, as a witness. So uh, that'll be good. Um, so you can get them uh, CGC and whatnot. Um, and then you'll see the Thanos number one that's coming out this week. There are some blanks there too as well. So we'll feature that today. Now, concerning uh, uh, Steve Aoki. So we have some exciting news from Steve Aoki. So if you guys actually uh, watch our Instagram live yesterday on our Tuesday's Roundup update, uh, this is just a quick reminder for you guys. But for everyone who hasn't, go ahead and watch our Instagram live uh, yesterday concerning um, Steve Aoki there. But um, I will definitely recap what that was. Uh, what's going to happen is that about late last night, um, around 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time and about uh, 6 p.m. West, West Coast Time, that's when I was... Um, I had a meeting with Impact Theory, the publishing company, as well as um, Steve Aoki's team. And we pretty much decided and found out that um, Steve would like to stay a little bit longer, but his tour dates does not permit it. He wants to stay longer than one hour. So we were able to work out for, uh, for him to stay longer than one hour. So that's actually pretty exciting. Uh, what's going to happen is that we're moving his signing date from uh, this Saturday to May 2nd. May 2nd next uh, next week. Well, it's not even next week. It's just a couple of days, like three, four, uh, four more days. Uh, we're moving it on May 2nd. Again, I'm going to put it bottom right here. May 2nd. That's a Thursday starting at 6 p.m. And he will be uh, staying for longer than one hour. Um, that's actually pretty exciting, but not only that we want to um, he wanted to make things special too as well So within our little group there, we actually um, made some changes uh, Not changes. Sorry. We added some incentives uh, for the $25 uh, Executive VIP as well as the VIP package there um, What's gonna happen is that it is a lot. It's a little bit long uh, long on what we've added in there so what I will tell you is that if you go on our website right there, multiversecorecomics.com, it will take you to the Neon Future site right away and the full description will be there. Um, I will mention, um, I can definitely mention a little bit of it because it's just a long description of what the, in, the new incentives are. Uh, one, of, uh, one of which is that if you purchase the executive VIP and the VIP package, you will receive 30% off here at the store for all comic books and graphic novels on free comic book day, which is May 4th. Uh, not only that, but we will also definitely uh, give you an extra 10% off on anything that's Impact Theory. Uh, you have to go to their website at impacttheory.com. Um, anything that is Neon Future related, comic books and t-shirts and merchandise will be 10% off as well. So that is just one of the incentives that we've added in 
uh, for uh, the May 2nd Steve Bioki signing. Um, again, we managed to work things out, looked at his tour dates, and he he is now going to be staying for longer than one hour. It's going to be starting at 6 p.m. on May 2nd. So uh, definitely take a look at that. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, he's able to spend more time with people. He's able to uh, talk to you guys a little bit more. He's able to sign more items, um, take more pictures with everybody. So that's actually pretty exciting. So, um, you know, I want to thank uh, Impact Theory as well as Steve Yoki too as well uh, for doing that um uh doing that for us so that's actually really cool uh not only that um but go ahead and follow steve yoki that's his handle right there uh follow him on his in on his instagram uh sometime from now until possibly at the end of the week uh you will see there's gonna be a special message from steve in there to everyone that's gonna be coming to uh, to his signing on may 2nd so uh keep a watch on that so make sure you follow him there he's gonna be posting that pretty soon so um that's gonna be uh really exciting as well but uh but just to recap everything that's happened um again uh jeff the cow will be doing his signing here on um on april on april 27 which is this saturday so this saturday jeff will be here signing thanos number ones as well as all his past work starting at 3 p.m to 6 p.m and then steve yoki will be here on may 2nd uh doing a signing for neon future number one for more than one hour and then on the exact same week next week we will have a free comic book day and ryan otley will be here so it is a busy two weeks here at this store um Ohenio is already panicking, so is Lewis. I'm panicking a little bit, um, but um, but anyway, so that's uh, that's what's happening as of right now. All right, so now that we have that all out of the way, just to let everybody know, I'm just putting my gloves here and whatnot. Uh, just want to let everybody know if you guys have any questions concerning about the Steve Aoki signing, uh, signing there on May second. Uh, definitely let me know um, if you have any questions concerning the incentives that we have for you definitely let me know too uh, as well and then we can definitely go through it uh, together and then uh, if you guys need explanation go ahead um, go ahead and give us a call or a text and uh, I'll definitely more than happy to explain things for you guys and what the new incentives are what we've added uh, for only 20 25 dollars that's actually not bad for 25 bucks not only that you get to see Steve Yoki uh, right in front of your face <laughs> but uh you get a couple of uh incentive there too as well so um a lot of exciting stuff happening here at the store with that being said uh we're gonna go ahead and go through these books this is a big week for marvel uh there's a lot um there's some big releases in marvel as well as a big release on uh independent section so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with dc again uh, we're going to start with DC again for the new comic box this week. But before we start, I want to feature this first. There is no trade paperbacks and hardcovers this week, but we do have this. This has finally come in. This is the John Constantine uh, Funko Pop exclusive for free comic book day. Uh, as you can see, there's a free comic book day in there. So for everyone who pre-order this under the free comic book day site that we have, uh, you will receive this on free comic book day next week. Um, unfortunately, we can. This is this does not exist currently right now, so we cannot give this to you today. Uh, but if you pre-order this, um, you will receive this on May 4th. If you haven't ordered this, there is still time. So go on our website, multiversecorecomics.com, and click on the uh, free comic book day site there, and you will see that uh, you can still pre-order this right now. Now that we have gotten that all the way, we're going to start again off with DC Comics, and we're going to start off with... Uh, Sandman Books of Magic. This is issue number seven. The Wildstorm. This is issue number 22. Wonder Comics. This is dial for uh, dial H for hero. This is issue number two as well. Freedom Fighters. This is issue number five of 12. Here is Goddess Mode. Issue number five. Silencer. Issue number 16. Terrifics. Issue number 15. Justice League Dark. This is issue number 10. And here is the Justice League Dark issue number 10 variant cover as well. Batgirl. This is issue number 34. Here is the Batgirl issue number 34 variant cover. Batman Beyond. This 
this is issue number 31 and here is the batman beyond issue number 31 variant cover as well wonder woman this is issue number 69 and here is the wonder woman issue number 69 variant cover now some of you guys have a pre-order uh for wonder woman number 64 for this month apparently uh just to let you know that is actually a typo Number 64, you guys or some of you already have number 64, um, is actually for number 69, not number 64. So that's actually a typo there, but uh, you will have this on your uh, bag there. Here is Flash number 69, and here is the Flash number 69 variant cover by Derek Chu. Detective Comics issue number two, uh, 1002, and here is the variant cover for it as well. Action Comics, this is 1010. Here is the Francis Manipal variant cover and finally the big release for dc this is heroes in crisis issue number eight uh this issue here actually tells you who the murderer is on the ongoing well not ongoing on this mini series and i was just reading this earlier today and lewis got to read it too as well i told him like this is literally uh the reason why tom king exists in uh, dc comics this is his magnum opus that's what i that's what i said uh it was actually really well written um if this does not win an eisner award i don't know what will and here is the heroes in crisis variant cover as well moving on to the independent circuit we're gonna start off with rick and morty this is issue number 49 invader zim this is issue number 42 uh, G.I. Joe, issue number three. Here is Street Fighter Wrestle Palooza. This is issue number one. TMNT Ongoing Series. This is issue number 93. Here is the Director's Cut reprint of Shredder in Hell. This is issue number one. The Avant Guards. This is issue number four. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. This is issue number 38. And here is the issue number 38 variant cover as well. The Warning. This is issue number six. Sharky the Bounty Hunter. This is issue number three. Invisible Kingdom. This is is issue number two hardcore this is issue number five here is firefly issue number five as well and this is skyward issue number 12 the forgotten queen this is issue number three honoring curse this is issue number three bloodshot rising spirit this is issue number three uh number six zodiac this is issue number three fight club three issue number four here is fight club three issue number four bearing cover as well criminal issue number four the realm this is issue number 13 wicked and divine this is issue number four Donna Kate's Rednecks, issue number 19. Here is Man Eater. This is issue number 8. And Spawn begins its road to 300. Uh, this is issue number 296. Um, if you guys are wondering what this is and what the road to 300 is, uh, Todd McFarlane explained to everyone there are some untold story of Spawn that uh, he's filling in the gaps. And here is the limited dress virgin cover. Ghost Tree, this is issue number one. Dick Tracy Forever, issue number one. Star Trek Year 5, this is issue number one itself too as well. And a brand new one from the Valiant Universe, this is Punk Mamba, this is issue number one. And one of the two big releases this week for the independent circuit, this is Jughead The Hunger vs. Vampirella, issue number one. Here is the variant cover, and another variant cover. And here is the VHS variant cover. Jeff Lemire's uh, follow-up to Descender, this is Ascenders. This is issue number one. And finally, one of the big releases too as well this week. This is Neon Future issue number two. Uh, this is the variant cover. Here's another one of the variant cover. Actually, that was the last one was the main cover. This is the variant cover. And here's another one of the variant cover as well. Just to let you guys know, if you want any, um, if you want this cover here and the uh, main cover right here uh, to get signed by Steve Aoki itself, just let us know. Give us a text or uh give us a quick email or give us a call uh, just to let you know issue number two uh signed by steve yoki is actually going to be one of the rarest items that you're going to be getting uh from this store because um well issue number two just came out now and his signing is on may 2nd so that would mean that the only place that you can get a steve yoki signed signature and, and signature series will be here at the store and just to let everybody know too as well we have contacted CGC on that, and they are very much aware of that. Now, finally, moving on to Marvel, we're going to start off with Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. This is issue number 42. The Runaways, issue number 20. Dr. Aphra, this is issue number 31. Vader's Dark Vision, this is issue number 3. And here's a new one from the Star Wars universe. This is Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, issue number 1. 
Marvel Comics Presents. This is issue number four. The Prelude to Far From Home. This is issue number two of two. Riri Williams, Ironheart. This is issue number five. Mr. and Mrs. X. This is issue number 10. Black Widow. This is issue number four. Here is Black Panther issue number 11. And the variant cover for it as well. Fantastic Four. This is issue number nine. Here is Doctor Strange, issue number 13. Here is Extremis, uh, issue number three. This is part of the Age of X-Men um, tie-in. Wolverine Long Long Night, issue number four. Hulk Vereens, this is issue number three. The Superior Spider-Man, issue number five. Here is, I believe, the final chapter for the Hunted storyline. This is Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 20. And here is the issue number 20 variant cover as well. And here is the War of the Realms tie-in uh, Venom, issue number 13. And here is the variant cover for it as well. Here's another tie-in for the War of the Realms. This is Uncanny X-Men. This is issue number one. And here is the variant cover for it. Avengers Mightiest Heroes. This is issue number 18 this is also a tie-in for the war of the realms that was the variant cover but this is the main cover here is a different avengers which has no relation to the war of the realms but this is avengers edge of infinity issue number one and here is the variant cover finally the big release for marvel here is thanos issue number one this is the jeff uh, decal variant cover so again he uh, jeff will be here on the 27th on saturday signing these books in here we do have plenty of copies so if you want to get one just definitely let us know and get it signed by jeff here is the josh brolin thanos variant cover here is another uh variant cover for it as well and here is the c2e2 um previews i believe the thanos number one previews uh px um preview um exclusive this is limited to about 3,000 copies so we do have this if you want this specifically, we are selling this for $10 a piece. And here is the variant, uh, the blank variant cover. So if you want to get a sketch by Jeff, this will be it. Um, I suggested yesterday on our um, on our um, live video that you can actually get Jeff to sketch right here and then possibly get him to sign that part. And that is all of the new releases this week. So again, just a quick recap. Uh, Jeff DeCal will be here on Saturday, April 27th from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Uh, he'll be definitely signing the Thanos number ones there. Um, and then uh, he'll be signing uh, his other works as well. His other works are, well, I mean, like just Google them and you'll see. Uh, there's quite a few of them there. Um, also... Uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff DeCal, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Steve Yoki. Steve Yoki is now going to be here on May 2nd, and he will be spending more than one hour for, for everybody there, starting at 6 p.m., May 2nd, that's a Thursday there, um, and then the incentives for the VIP and the executive VIP is now on our website, multiversecorecomics.com, um, you may have received a letter personally a uh, personal letter including a discount code um last night if not last night later on today you'll definitely receive that because you do get 10 percent off on the impact theory website uh for anything neon future um uh, merch and comic books too as well but all the incentives that we've added that um that I have added for our store incentive as well as the impact theory incentive as well as the um, Steve Aoki's team they added some incentive there too as well so uh, take a look at it it's uh, for 20 25 bucks you can definitely beat that so uh, go ahead and log into our website multiversecorecomics.com because of the incentives that we have there there's a good chance that that's gonna go out pretty quickly especially when Steve um, has made his announcement uh, video pretty soon. It's probably sometime this week or next week. Um, I may I may uh, leave like a small plea. Maybe he can uh, mention us by name. Wouldn't you like that, Lewis? Mention uh, Steve Aoki mention you by name. What? If Steve Aoki mention you by name. What? Not you, Lewis. Well, you too. Wouldn't you want it like uh, Steve Yoki mentioned you by name? What? Why, why are you such a downer today, man? I'm not. It's just, like, oh, why? Someone said my name. Wow. Why are you so much, such a downer today? Like, <laughs> like, has Lewis not hugged you long enough today? Uh, I don't think that's how it works. If anything, Lewis hugging me makes me worse. <laughs> Lewis, stop hugging him then. I haven't. 
Hey, if if Steve Aoki knows Lewis personally, by name, by name, that would be like some sort of like Illuminati kind of uh, confirmed. Like, like, Lewis is like the Freemason or something. Yeah, he'll be Freemason. If you guys are interested, uh, go watch our Instagram live. Uh, we went on like a good 15 minute rant with me and Lewis and everybody who's like uh, online. That, uh, How are you guys more distracted when I'm not here? That uh, we, were, uh, we, were, we were deciding whether um, uh, the conspiracy theory that uh, Multiverse Core Comics is part of Illuminati. Because because how are we getting all because because how are we getting all these signings after one year? It's called hard work, kids. No, it's just by by stating that we're part of the Illuminati, are we part of the Illuminati? It, it could be that you're deconfirming it, or you could just be reverse psychology it. So that or you're reverse reverse psychology it? Yeah. It's honestly just a mind sweeper. Yeah. So there you go. So I might be part of the Illuminati or Lewis's. We don't know. I'm definitely not. I don't know. I can't. There's a lot of triangles uh, lately in here. So one last thing, if you guys are interested, clothing line this is available today. It's going to be at the store. We are selling these. These are a new merch. Um, some people are asking us yesterday. So, but until then, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know. Let Ohanyu know. Let uh, Mr. Freemason over there know. Uh, Lewis is part of Freemason. That's, that's my final word for today. Lewis is part of Freemason. There you go.